great, everybody. Welcome to Consensus Network Bitcoin Publishing House YouTube channel. Um, today, we're going to be talking about uh, Bitcoin Cultural Magazine Citadel 21 with Hodonov and Bitcoin Katia. And the big, we're doing a little bit of a question and answer session. And the question that is on everybody's lips is where is my Citadel volume, uh, Citadel 21 volume one? And we've been getting this question quite a bit and we thought it would be a, a good idea to make this kind of a video, explain to you guys a little bit uh, about the process of the shipping and what's the status of that now and what you can expect in the future. Uh, so Hodlnaut, Katja, would you guys uh, tell a little bit about from your side and, and I can just provide some context here and we'll try to keep it short and sweet. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, uh, I think this was a good idea, Nico, to, to have a quick talk about uh, what's been happening with the uh, with the volume one scenes that many people have been wondering about. Uh, there have been some unfortunate delays with volume one, which we will try to address in this video. Uh, fortunately, volume two seems to have been delivered much more timely. So uh, yeah, that's uh, basically what we wanted to talk about today. If you, what do you think, Katya? Yeah, I guess it's uh, actually like the important issue that we should to address because uh, we received really a lot of DMs and emails about uh, just inquiries like where is my zine. So I guess uh, this is just another way to let people know what is going on right now and maybe explain a little bit the uh, situation around international um, shipping. But uh, it's like a worldwide uh, problem currently. Right. And to provide a little bit of context here, uh, my role in the project is, is dispatch. Uh, so I'm taking care of the, the printing and, and shipping. And thus, in, in this three-person mini panel, we probably have the best knowledge about uh, the shipping, shipping process. So we'll be go going through all your questions and also if you have more further questions, you can also uh, send them to shop at citadel21.com. That's the customer service email. Uh, you, you will get a response within 24 hours. That's the goal at least. And we, we respond to everybody's inquiries. So that's the channel to use. Uh, it's probably the be be better channel compared to Twitter. I mean, you, obviously you can reach out on Twitter as well, but I would think that the, the best way to streamline the process is to use the email and also that's uh, that's great because it will leave some kind of uh, um, remind reminder or memory for you guys uh, that you have been in contact with us and then it will be easier to find your case and get back to you yeah yeah and totally, Nico, totally. <laughs> sorry so yeah Nico, uh, i said if you check Telegram, I, I sent you an image on Telegram. Uh, maybe you can screen share that as a start of this thing because I think it kind of catches the catches the sentiment or the vibe of uh, of Volume One. Uh, how people have experienced it. We ran this meme contest on Twitter, and uh, I kind of think I think this was the best one. It made me laugh. Uh, kind of sad, but it made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was the same thing for me when I saw this. I, it cracked me up immediately. I know that feeling. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really unfortunate when you when you are really excited about something you bought online, and especially when you use your sats to do it, and then you have been waiting for quite a bit. So definitely can sympathize with your your feelings. So this this is really funny and and sad at the same time. Yeah, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that. At least my impression right as of now, it's mostly North America that's affected. There is some pockets elsewhere as well, like Italy. But uh, yeah, mostly North America. And uh, fortunately, we're seeing them come in in a higher frequency these last couple of weeks. So hopefully this will be resolved uh, pretty soon. Yeah, there's a yeah. couple. Sorry, Katja, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just wanted to add that I read a little bit about this, like how do they ship right now and why actually America is affected. Like, obviously, it's just overseas. And the thing is, like, we ship from Europe. So if 
some guys are actually located in Europe, then uh, the postal services, they can use road. But for shipping overseas, they have to use either ships or like air traffic. And both are like actually severely affected by COVID stuff. Yeah, that's that's one thing. But also I have to point out that the vast majority of all shipments go to North America. So it's only natural that most of the lost shipments or delayed are also there. I, I, I think from volume one, more than half uh, went to North America. But that, that being said, there's also countries like Czech Republic, Portugal, um, Serbia, I believe, in Europe that I, from the top of my head, that I can remember that still haven't received volume one. So it's not entirely about that, but obviously even in the regular situation, uh, the European delivery time ranges for economy letter. And this, I think, is key here that we use the economy letter in the, in the first batch um, because it's uh, slightly cheaper, but apparently it, it, it is the most affected by these delays and the priority class uh, has been moving a little bit better. So even in the regular situation, of course, it takes less time to Europe and more time to overseas. So I think... Uh, the problem polarizes because of the long distance they caught COVID and, and yeah, I think it makes it seem like there's a bigger problem with US and, and Canada specifically where, where that might not be the case. It's just that the vast majority is from there. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of uh, unknown factors or like very specific factors in international shipping right now. For example, uh, last couple of days I've been talking to a lot of people uh, about this shipping issues and it seems like UK and US has a very solid connection uh, for some reason like uh, even letter mail seems to be moving uh, pretty good from UK to US but like mainland Europe is a completely different story so it's hard to, to like see the whole picture here and uh, there are probably a lot of factors involved uh, and the uh, at the different at different times as well so yeah it's it's just a just a difficult time to do international shipping it's true yeah, to totally true and uh, also like what i read like it's true that uk probably has less uh, problems but also like the thing is it really varies from country to country uh like the delay times also because we don't do not really know like how do those postal services like inside the countries work because uh, I checked through like pretty a lot of uh, postal services websites and uh, all of them basically say uh, like yeah like um, be ready for the delays because like there are lockdowns layoffs and um, just basically like less workforce in some countries so but uh, the amount of letters and uh, other shipments are basically still the same so it just uh, gets harder for um, people who work in this sphere to, like, <laughs> to actually deliver in time. Yeah, it's, uh, we really don't have any control af after we dispatch. There's, if it's not a track shipment, which is, by the way, something that has been added to the, the volume two uh, to get an extra, extra insurance at, and you know, to mitigate the problem with the possible delays. And possible lost shipments too. Of course, it's a little bit extra money, but when you talk about collectibles, uh, some people have been uh, finding it useful. So that's something you can do now. But um, unfortunately, this af after it leaves the dispatch, there's really nothing we can do except wait. And the thing that got us a little bit of by surprise, uh, we we ship we've been shipping books and and stuff all around the world a lot, and just now recently this year, like maybe around the summer, they really started to cut down the connections. Like it was a little bit of a surprise to me that some countries were cut out uh, completely. Like for example, Australia, which gladly we, we managed to um, use a courier service to, to service that area. But there's also countries that actually ordered the volume one uh, customers from countries that that uh, the bro connection is completely broken. There's no way except using career, and that's obviously not plausible for single magazines. So we we even have some uh, volume ones that have not been shipped at all because it's simply not possible, or it's not yeah, plausible. 
big shout out to Wizard of Oz for helping us uh, distribute the uh, Australian scenes. Indeed. Thanks, brother. Huge help. Yeah. And, and the second thing that got us by surprise was the uh, disproportionate effect on priority and economy mail. So economy mail seems really, really bad right now. So I don't recommend anybody use it for anything. Like we lit I've literally seen a picture of a truck drove over the, <laughs> the envelope of the, of the magazine with the tire tracks on top of it. And, and uh, one magazine I believe was bent by the mailman. So that, that was kind of a disappointment, but Luckily, now it seems the volume two is uh, we're using the priority envelopes. Uh, people have been reporting that the magazine is in good condition and, and arrives timely. So that's something, something good news, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Should we, uh, should we have a look at like what, what questions have people been, uh, been asking in the support uh, emails, uh, Nico? Sure, let me just see here. So I, I think one of the biggest, uh, most frequent question is, is there any tracking number for the letter or, or has, have they been shipped or people have been unsure? And this is also reflected both in DMs and, and also in the emails. People are unsure if the magazines have been shipped. And I think one reason for this is that which we've also also been telling people over email that in the beginning, the very first batch, the, the huge batch of orders got, got confirmed by the automatic system, but it didn't send the shipping um, confirmations to the clients, which means that it's possible that you didn't even receive a shipping notification, even though your magazine was shipped. So that's probably some source of confusion. So all magazines have been shipped. I can personally guarantee that because I've overseen the process. And about the tracking number, um, generally when you when you get the regular mail, you don't don't get the tracking number for that. You have to pay extra for that. And to be able to provide global free shipping, uh, the tracking number is not included by default. But since uh, we realized this, there can be a lot of problems. And even in regular situation, there's always some chance to, for a loss shipment. Uh, so we have added the possibility to purchase that, that tracking code, which is just basically a little bit of extra money. I, I think it's uh, around nine, uh, nine something, nine, nine euros for, uh, nine dollars for, um, for Europe and $17 for outside Europe. Uh, something to that effect. Uh, so, so definitely you can do that. And also we changed the Australian shipping. So uh, if you're ordering from Australia, be aware that we only ship once a month, uh, that joint shipment. And if you miss that, then you have to wait for the next month. So you can always order, but uh, we will ship the, the, the new volume in two weeks from print. Uh, so then if you make an order before that, you will get it in the same batch. Yeah. I like the names you chose for the new, the two shipping options, Nico. Can you? Uh, oh, right. You yeah, actually, I can, I can probably share the screen here. Yeah. I have your shop open here. Oh, hold on. Right, so you should be able to see that now. So if you go to the shop and you put the put the zine in your cart, and here you can see, so low time preference is now what used to be just there was no options, but now there's low time preference and high time preference. So if you have low time preference, that means you will get just no tracking code. You will just get the um, at this moment is the priority mail, but it used to be the economy mail. And if you want high, if you have high time preference, you want some extra protection, then you will pay the extra. You can pay the extra cost and get it a little bit faster, get some extra uh, assurance. And this is especially handy if you want to order multiple, uh, multiple zines. For one, it might be a little bit steep, especially if you live outside Europe. But if you get a multiple um, zine order, 
I would definitely consider that. So those are the ways ways to do it. And I'll, I'll show you the Australian while I'm at it. So if we check if you are changing your address to Australia. So then you will only have the option to do UPS group shipping. And because UPS is a rather expensive service, we will have to charge you an extra seven, uh, 750 US dollars to be included in the group shipping. So while it's not uh, quite free global shipping, it is still doable. So if you really want to see, and uh, uh, the price is, um, because we, we generally get around 20, 20 ish orders per volume, uh, at least so far from Australia. Uh, so, so this makes it possible for us to actually ship it. And then also we have to consider the cost of shipping inside Australia. So there's like two rounds of uh, handling and shipping. Yeah. And hopefully, hopefully these shipping routes will normalize, right? Uh, even though it, it doesn't look at the moment like the, the global stage is going to calm down near term but hopefully at some point we will have normalized shipping again and then once again we will be able to ship to australia for 21 dollars shipping included right yeah of course of course i'm keeping an eye on the situation all the time but like you said uh doesn't look too good about the uh, you know panic dying down but we'll see i, I think also the entrepreneurs are, are getting kind of tired of of this kind of interference so hopefully things will get better soon yeah yeah actually i remembered wizard sent us a screenshot of the road do you remember hold on it like the yeah. road uh, how the parcel went and it went from helsinki to glostrop in denmark and then yeah. it, went, it went to Köln in germany and then it was like circling around the united states in newmark Louisville, and honolulu and uh, it was not the end so it took like really a lot of stages to get to australia yeah completely crazy logistics uh, gymnastics going on yeah so there's it's, it's no wonder like even the ups and dhl what i've seen they've raised their prices and also the they pulled out their guarantees for delivery times like entirely they don't guarantee any delivery times anymore <laughs> which is kind of like uh tells a kind of a story of the, uh, of the state of the global infrastructure right now. It's worse than you would think. So uh, more, some more questions. There's also uh, a question about the plastic wrapping and the wrapping of the magazines. A lot of people have been asking about the, you know, kind of like vacuum seal on the, because it's a collectible to many. And this is uh, something that we have actually been talking about uh, do you guys have any input on this? Um, nothing firm. I mean, we talked briefly briefly about it, uh, Nico, and uh, uh, it will include added costs. And uh, for us uh, to do that, uh, it's definitely something we're looking at. And I think basically we will announce uh, what's going to happen with that soonish. I mean, there were several things we were discussing, like uh, possibility of including maybe some stickers here and there in the package and stuff like that. So yeah, we will bring more clarity on that soon. Yeah, that's, I, I think that could be nice, at least as an option for some people, definitely something to look into. But yeah, like you said, at this point when it's not entirely clear uh, how the future volumes are going to sell and if the, if the you know, enterprise will be profitable, it's best yeah. to avoid any extra costs. Exactly. It's like we have a lot of balls in the air already. So I think it's a matter of streamlining and uh, making our current uh, commitment solid and then uh, branch further from there. So another question is people are wondering perhaps we ship to a uh, wrong address because there's also shipping address and there's the uh, billing address. And I will say right now it's impossible because the order export only fetches the shipping address. So as long as you fill the shipping address correctly, it has been shipped to your shipping address. There was a case where um, a customer accidentally put their address in the comments 
and it got shipped to the wrong place, but that's another thing. So just be careful to make sure the shipping address is correct and also include the country. Uh, there was, I think, some orders that didn't include country from the US. Perhaps um, they thought that the, the zines are shipped from inside US. I think there, there was a couple of customers like that. Just make sure that the shipping address has all the information that is required for the delivery. And then uh, our system should take care of the rest. Yeah. So uh, also, yeah, like we mentioned earlier, the volume two has been arriving to many, many customers before the volume one. And this is also something that has um, caused some anxiety to people that perhaps it will never arrive or it was never shipped. But I think it's still the case of economy versus priority. So uh, it takes it apparently weeks longer with the economy compared to the priority. And that's the only logical uh, conclusion that I can come to at this point, uh, that they just simply don't prioritize at all the economy. They will, they will just uh, ship it if they have some time or if they have some resources, I think. They, they probably have some buffer storage that the letters can just stay there for. If they don't have capacity, then the letters can just stay there for a, a long while. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah sorry, Katya. <laughs> no, I was just uh, thinking that, uh, yeah, I guess Nico were totally right because, like, yesterday I was researching, like, what is going on with international shipping. Like, maybe there are some resources that actually report on the situation and uh, as I understood like really they do not prioritize this economy uh, shipping because um, with the current situation in the world what they actually prioritize is a lot of like uh, medical stuff being shipped and that includes like medicaments and masks and uh, tests and that is like the highest uh, priority and as we know <laughs> like every country now imports that uh, stuff from China. So um, I guess um, that the shipping roads that are left, they are first used for these like medical purposes and then like basically the priority, like probably some business stuff and um, priority mail and then in the end <laughs> economy shipping. So it really takes probably like months, like a couple of uh, months to, to get to the economy letter. Yeah, and uh, the situation polarizes the difference because regularly, like I've been shipping a lot of stuff and I always use the economy because the difference is, uh, monetary difference is so huge and the time difference is so small. But right now it's the opposite way. The, the economic difference is uh, negligible and the time difference is <laughs> unbearable. So it's it's a no-brainer that we go for, go with the a priority from now on. I think that was all of the questions. If you guys didn't have any more questions, I think it's pretty much just where's my zine, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and the short true. answer is it's on the way. And the longer answer is um, if it's not going to arrive, if it's not going to be returned to us or it's not going to reach the destination, we will find a way to make you whole so you're not you haven't lost your money, you haven't been scammed. I think that's the number one thing that everybody should understand. Yeah, and also that important uh, to mention that we have put a cutoff date on this. Uh, uh, if you have not received your scenes 120 days from the order date, we will make you whole. Uh, we'll get in contact with you and we will uh, find a way to make you whole either through a refund or some other means, maybe send you a replacement scene from another volume or something like that. We will, no one will, no one have been scammed here and we will make people whole. And one more thing to add is to, uh, if you are waiting for your zine and you haven't contacted shop at citadel21.com, please do so. So I can add you to the list of, of uh, non-shipments. So I will have an idea of how many shipments are still on the way. And also kindly, if you do get it, uh, then I would ask you also to let us know. So um, we, can, we can then 
um, take you off the list because we do have a very small buffer of zines left for reshipments. But if if we start reshipping right now, it, there's a chance that everybody doesn't doesn't get one, and it's going to suck because I think most people would still prefer the zine over a refund. Uh, so it's very important that we are sure that the shipment is lost before we ship another one because there's not going to be enough for everybody, I think. Yeah, and uh, it, it wouldn't really make sense to to start resending now, even if we had enough scenes to do it. Uh, uh, just to also to clarify, when you say that we had a reshipment buffer, we say, was it 10 scenes, Nico? It's actually just five. Yeah, okay. It was supposed to be 10, but then we had some... Uh, we had... Uh, like we miscommunicated a little bit and then it turned out uh, that we had sold more than we than, than we than we thought wasn't that right yeah actually what happened was that some customers i think around seven of them uh put a really low fee on the bitcoin payment and yeah, uh, as a result the right. uh, the order failed by yeah. by the shop but uh, if as everybody knows eventually the Bitcoin payment did clear up, so so it was a, a made sale. So that kind of ate the buffer, uh, yeah. which was unfortunate. We didn't uh, account for that, but that's what happened. So just to be clear, when we say buffer, that doesn't mean we have printed more than thousand scenes. Only thousand scenes have been printed. Uh, we just kept a small buffer to account for possible non-shipment or non non-received scenes. But uh, we are seeing scenes arrive every day now like just today i think i've seen two or three people tweeting from the us that their volume one arrived so if you still haven't received it we still believe you will and uh, if you end up not receiving it we will make you whole right and and as uh, as i said earlier please be in, in touch with the with the email and let us know if you're still waiting if you haven't yet uh, it's really important to get the most accurate picture yeah and so, uh, yeah, volume three is uh, is being printed soon, Nico. Uh, we're hoping to have the design ready now in a few days. Uh, really looking forward to that. And uh, that will be shipped as priority, just like volume two, and hopefully will reach uh, customers in a timely fashion. Yeah, really looking forward to that. And Did you guys have any other things you wanted to discuss? Should we wrap it up? I think we're good. What, uh, do you have anything, Katya? No, I don't. I was just uh, thinking, Nico, that we can help you with this waiting list because um, we can scrap the emails from all the orders and make uh, the survey. So people, um, so we actually know from which country, country and who didn't receive and uh, send them directly in their mailbox. Maybe that would be uh, easier than they will like reach out to us yeah sure whichever way you like yeah i mean we can do that so maybe we just uh, get uh, a bit like more information about who is waiting I was just wondering about the split between ac actually received zines and um, non-received yeah it's just we have no way to know who has received uh, zines with, without tracking so there's probably a lot of people who have who are still waiting, but who chose not to bother us with their um, yeah. requests. So that's kind of like what I was going for. Yeah. Cool. All right. So so to sum it up, sum it up, your zine is on the way, and. If you have any further questions or you want to sign up for the non-shipment list, the email is shop at citadel21.com. Yeah, it's also it's also possible to DM us on uh, Twitter if you like have just a short, short, easy question. But if it's shipping related, you should probably send the mail to shop at citadel21.com. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Hodon. Thank, thank you, Katya. And thank you for um, everybody for their support. Uh, whoever bought the zine, it's a really great. I, I love the zine. I think it's nice to have 
more culture, Bitcoin culture like this. I'm looking forward to the volume three. I'm, I hope uh, everybody else is too. Yeah, thank you, Nico. Thank you to everyone who supports us. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye-bye.